Can you survive by trading on the Fargo black market? I just want to end with shoes. You traded all that stuff in the last 20 minutes? I got offered a singlet over there. Something caught my eye. The camera loves me. <laughs> um, I just watched your video today. You know how hard it is to find a size three and a half shoes? <laughs> morning. Whole new outfit for day three, baby. Let's go. This is day three of a three-day challenge. If you've not seen day one yet, please go watch it. But again, I know some of you are stubborn. Yes, I'm looking at you, Kyle. So I'll give you a quick recap. I'm trying to see if you can survive by trading out the Fargo Black Market. Today is the first day where I have to buy breakfast, lunch, and dinner, all only using Black Market profit. Yesterday, I had $7.53. I spent some of that on Taco Bell burritos. I ate those burritos for lunch and dinner. They're actually really not sitting well with me. I'm a little concerned. But it did allow me to save a lot of money. I had $1.08 left over after I bought those burritos. Then I ended with a singlet that was worth $20. So I currently have $21.08 to get me through the rest of this final day. Now, what's my game plan for the day? I'm gonna do a similar thing today where I start with $10, try to trade up to something of value. The other $11.08 can go towards my breakfast and lunch. I'm actually not a huge breakfast guy, so I'll probably just go get a $2 coffee, save the rest to have like a decent lunch. So you might be wondering, Tyler, you started with $10 yesterday. How is today gonna be different? Well, if you'd shut up and be patient, I'll tell you. Today is different because I want a pair of shoes. Now between last year and this year, I've exchanged hands with a lot of kids. I've traded socks, I've traded singlets. I've never traded for a pair of shoes. I really want to trade for a pair of shoes. So even if they're not that valuable, I wanna end this series by doing something I've never done before. Hopefully I can end up with a cool pair of shoes, but I might just end up with a pair of Matt Flexes. No matter what, I'm excited to take you on this journey. Let's go! I don't know why I did that. Door's actually over here. I actually don't have enough time to go buy a coffee because I have to go film matches, which is like my actual real job. So I just brewed this cured coffee. I'm gonna take $2 out of the budget because I feel like that's about what a black coffee would cost at a coffee shop. It hurts. A lot of time wasted right now doing my actual job. Okay, I'm back again. I got $10 cash. The goal today is shoes. I really want to get a pair of shoes. I don't care how good or bad they are. I just want to end with shoes. You got anything you can sell me for 10 bucks? Well, I want the Isle of Hot Mom singlet. No, that's like 60. 60? Yeah. Okay, fair, fair, fair. What's a shirt? I don't want a shirt. Get out of here. <laughs> Thank you though. Normally I find a kid and he helps me, but today I wanted to take a little more hands-on approach. So I did most of the trading myself. Hey, you got anything for 10 bucks? You started with a dollar? I started with a dollar and I got a lot of stuff. I got a dollar, then a tuna pack, then I got a, a roll of, pack? Yeah, then a roll of tape, then three Snickers. Okay. Then a pair of glasses. Okay. A hat, a low cut singlet. Okay. Then another shirt, then another shirt. Wow. I'm right here. We got a time limit. I'm doing a challenge with my friend. Is he winning? Who's winning? Oh, I'm definitely winning. What does he have? I think he has shoelaces right now. <laughs> we had a time limit of 20 minutes. You traded all that stuff in the last 20 minutes? Yeah. Boom. Good luck to you, sir. Hey, you got anything for 10 bucks? Shoelaces, man. I got offered a singlet over there. Titan Mercury, what size is it? Medium. All right, I'll tell you that for 10 bucks. What's your name? Diego. Diego made us our first trade. Mario Mason with the Shot Docs collection over here. You want to trade anything for this singlet? No, but these guys might. Singlet? Oh, nice, dude. Yo, 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 yo. Something caught my eye. Whose hat is this? Yours? What is this hat worth to you? Like 25 bucks. Like 25 bucks? Now, a lot of you probably look at this hat, you just see red clouds. No, 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 no. This hat is from my favorite TV show called Naruto. It's an anime. I even have a tattoo of it. So, of course, I really want this hat. I asked this kid what he's willing to trade for it. He says he doesn't want to trade. He wants $25. I don't have $25. I have a singlet. It's a Naruto tattoo. I don't care about shoes anymore. I want this hat. This is all I have right now, but what would I need to trade up to to, to get you to trade me that hat? I'll try you something better and come back. 
He said, go get something better and come back. Okay, I'm gonna do that. So I'm like, okay, you're a tiny kid. What if I found something that fits you? Shoes? What size shoes do you wear? Like threes. I got small feet. You got small feet. Kid tells me he's a size three and a half shoe. If I find him three and a half shoes, I get the hat. And so the journey began. You think this is better or you think a Kansas single is better? I like how that one looks. All right. Hopefully we can go up from here. What size shoes are these? Five and a half. Would you trade this singlet for these tiny shoes? I don't I don't have anything else. I just have this singlet. Okay? What is it? Are you a flow guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want the camera to make you feel like you should trade with me though. The camera loves me. <laughs> um, I'm trying to get a pair of shoes. You know what? I haven't made a deal yet today, so there. Boom. Wow. Where I'm in good health. Tracking deals. What's your name? <laughs> Blivis. Sam Blivis. Sam Blivis. Yeah, Shout Michigan. Out to Sam. You actually want these shoes? Those Oregon kids are your problem now. <laughs> Why do you want these shoes? I mean, I just want to trade for the for the uh, publicity. <laughs> I don't want to like look like I'm scamming kids just because they want to be on camera. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, I feel yeah. like I would be taking advantage of you if I did that. It's, it's 20 bucks. <laughs> two Kool-Aid jammers. Empty ones. This kid wants me to trade two empty Kool-Aid jammers. No. These are five and a half. So I was going to try to find three and a half for you. Would you trade these for that hat? You want to try them on? They're a little big. Too big? Well, they said there are little kids over here, but I actually don't see any little kids at all. Nor do I see tiny shoes. I just watched your video today. Really? Good morning. No yeah, way. dude. Respect. What you got? You got any tiny shoes? You guys got any size three and a half? So you got scammed for the, the Oklahoma Cox singlet. Uh, I traded the Team Oklahoma singlet for a Seahorse Open singlet. <laughs> <laughs> They're laughing at me. They think it's funny. They think it's a joke. Like, Seahorse is like... <laughs> doesn't look like we got any tiny shoes over here. What's the smallest pair of shoes you guys got? Would you trade them for these five and a halves? Get an appraisal real quick. Yeah, dude, I'll take them. Yeah? yeah? For these? Yeah. All right, sweet. I think these are pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie. I got these size fives. You could grow into them. No? Yeah. I tried my best. I searched high and low. But do you know how hard it is to find a size three and a half shoes at a high school tournament? If I find a singlet that fits you, would you take that for this hat? So I pivoted. I say, what if I find you a singlet? It depends what singlet it is. But he tells me he's a youth small. At least that's what I thought he said. Take note of that because that will come into play later. What size singlet are you? Like uh, extra small or something. Okay. Whoa, that champion singlet is sweet. That's sweet. Would you trade him for the shoes? Yeah. You actually would? Yeah. Easy. Thank you. I might have just traded down. I have no idea. This is a youth medium. What about this youth medium champion singlet? It's kind of sweet, right? No. <laughs> I'm running everywhere. I'm wheeling and dealing. But the same thing with the shoes. No one has a youth small at a high school tournament. This is a girl singlet? Yeah, look at the sides. I'm running everywhere, I'm wheeling and dealing, but the same thing with the shoes, no one has a youth small at a high school tournament. I honestly was about ready to give up. I had a conversation with Connor, who's behind the camera. What should I do now? Let's do one of those. We were getting ready to go shoot something else and pivot. I don't know what to do, honestly. Like, this is... Hey, can you put me on flow? My dad said he had paid me $80. <laughs> $80 if what? If you came on flow? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you're in the video now. Let's go. <laughs> But then I found it, a youth small single. Would you trade this champion single for that? I'd make that deal. Would you make that deal? Yeah, I would make that deal. Good deal. Boom. I think this is really tiny. This is a youth small. The kid might not like it, but hopefully he does. I'm so excited. I sprint over to Rowan. I finally found a youth small. Do you like this singlet? I like it, yeah. You do? It's too small. It's too small? Yeah. You said you were a youth extra small. No, I said that I was an extra small. Oh my gosh. This kid looks at me. He goes, I'm not a youth small. I said an extra small. Oh my gosh. Do you have any idea how many adult smalls I denied the kids were trying to throw at me? All because I thought I needed a youth small? Now I've backed myself into a corner. At one point I had Adidas shoes and now all I have is this youth small singlet. I was beginning to think that my hubris led me straight into the sun. But then, miraculously. Yeah, what you got? What you got for this uh, youth small Reno World singlet? I'm gonna be honest. Are you even like bigger than this? They're all bigger than that. Get rolled. What size is that? Small? All right, let me get, let me trade you this for the sushi. That's fire. Aiden and Chetta, follow me on Instagram. A kid was willing to trade me a pretty cool small sushi singlet. It wasn't extra small, but it was kind of cool, so I really hoped it was going to work. At this point, I had been doing this for like two hours. I needed to get back to my regular job. All my eggs were in this one basket. My heart was pounding as Rowan picked up the singlet, examined it. It's size small. And then he said these glorious words. Yes! Yes! 
Don't you da 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 forget about me. Well, all right, that was a lot of fun. I know I said I wanted shoes, but obviously, as you saw, the plan changed. Got this sweet Naruto Akatsuki hat. <laughs> when I first asked him what he wanted for the hat, he said $25. So we're just gonna assume a $25 valuation here. Add that to the $9.08 that I already had, and that leaves me with $34.08. So I can spend $17.04 on lunch, $17.04 on dinner, it's more than enough. You proved it, ladies and gentlemen. You can survive off the Fargo black market. What's up? <laughs> you wanna be on camera? Fargo, awesome. Now for days one and two, I was giving away the item that I ended with, but I think I'm gonna keep this hat as a memento. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I do have a real job to do while I'm at these events. So to make these videos, I stay up till like two in the morning to edit. So I hope you like them. Last year, Last year I asked you guys to leave comments if you liked the video so my boss would let me make more and you guys left a lot of nice comments and my boss let me make more. So if you like this series this year, please do that again. Um, what else do I need to say? What the? Oh, he's got me, he's got me. Come up here, come up here. Thank you, is it bright enough? Can you see my face? <laughs> I've been waiting for like 15 minutes for them to turn the lights back on, but it's not happening, so I'm just gonna finish it like this, I guess. What, are they trying to run an event over here or something? Overall, thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. I hope you comment if you did like it. And uh, that's the series, we proved it. Living the American dream. What, what do I gotta, I will do like anything for the follow back. I'm so serious. Here, instead like of following follow. you back, I'll let you shout out your own personal Instagram okay. right here. Okay, it's B-R-Y-O-R underscore N-E-W B-O-L-D. Boom. For being my appraiser on day one, okay. shout out. I'm a professional appraiser. You need appraising, come to me, I'll be here all week. He's not a professional. Okay, I'm mad. I literally just stopped recording and of course the lights come right back on.